Welcome back to Greenhouse Solutions and Rowing Systems. Today we're going to show you how to do a fast, simple, cheap way of float rafts in these 27 gallon totes. Okay, here I am in my favorite little work spot, my office and my wonderful little chair. First thing you need, the 27 gallon totes. I found a really good deal at Sam's, so anyway, get you one or two of these, however many we're going to put in. There's different kinds of materials you can use for your floats. This style of foam insulation is cheaper, but it's really a mess, doesn't last, and it's really hard to clean. Some of the insulation is more solid like this one. I don't know if it's food grade because it doesn't say. Something you can use, but you'll have to drill your own holes. And when you do drill your holes, it's, you do one inch for some of the things, you do one and a half inch for others, and uh, I'll show you that in a second. The best float material we found is from Beaver Products. Uh, we did buy a couple pallets of this stuff, so we have this available. It's already pre-drilled, different patterns, different sizes, and uh, it, this stuff is food grade, and it will last you forever. It's really sturdy. Really, one of the only tools you need is drill and hole saw, depending on the size of the holes that you want to use. So we'll go from there. If you like to use the baskets, there's a two-inch basket. This hole saw, you don't want this to go all the way in. I'll show you what I mean. For the two-inch basket, one and a half inch hole saw. Anyway, just set that basket in. It's perfect. We use a two and a half inch hole saw for the three inch baskets. That's that. And again, just want it to set in. So the plant's above. Okay, the ones from Beaver Plastics, the food grade, you can get these, just these one inch rock wool cubes and they fit perfectly. Sit right like that. You can seat them direct. No need for anything. It's just, it just works out really well. You also make one with the round holes, but we can put a square piece in a round hole and they set in just like that, no problem. If you do still want to use the baskets and this, you can drill the hole for your basket and still use these with this material as well. So after you have your material either drilled or just cut the size, we actually send the right sizes for this. We will fill this with water and go to the next step. Now as we're filling it with water, I'm going to put a set of nutrients in here as well. So if you've got a lot of chlorine from your city water, you might want to let this sit just a couple days, let the chlorine dissipate. So now we've got uh, 25 gallons of water. So mix up 10 teaspoons each of the master blend, the calcium nitrate, and 5 teaspoons of the magnesium sulfate. Put it in here, shake it up again, get it in the solution. Pour it in. And that's that. If the water's a little bit cold, it won't all go to solution immediately, but it won't take but 30 minutes or so and it will all be dissolved. If you're only doing one or two of these, um, you can get away with just a small aquarium aerator, but I do suggest getting a better one. This one's an Eco Air Commercial One and uh, it'll last forever. All right, not forever, but a long time. And uh, you can run as many as you want, up to six off of this one. Okay, next we want to set up the air. We've got three 16-inch uh, tubing from HydroFlow, and we do carry all this stuff. So anyway, we'll be hooking up the pump and an air stone. After you get your length cut, it's on one end, and then get the air stone. Now there's different types of air stones. I really like the large round. It stays where you put it, never clogs. These are good, but they break a little easier. They don't put out quite as much air. Okay, so we'll be using the large air stone. Let's get the tubing at 3 16 on there. Place it center. And as you see, I mean, it is not going anywhere. Plugging in the pump. These all come with these valves. There's six valves on here, so you can hook up six separate aerations. 
Okay, so we plug it in. And lots of air. You can't have too much air ever. The next thing we do, put our float raft in. Okay, they're cut to size. Now, what's nice about this system is as the water's used, evaporates a little bit, these will go down with the water and by the time your first crop or two even is ready, that's when you actually refill a little bit of water. So it's really a hands-off system. Just plant and let it grow. There are a few ways to start these plants in these floats and I'll show you that now. The one inch rock wool is one of the best. Just set it in. What I'll do, I'll actually moisten it first, set it in, and set my seed inside. They germinate very well. Another method is pre-sprout them. And I'll show you that on a whole nother video. If you do pre-sprout them, first just dip that, pre-soak it a little bit. I split these open, put the plant in, and just set it in squares. And that's it. It's simple as that. We can do up to six of these with one of these pumps. Um, I've got four just right here. I try to rotate it. Um, it's real easy just to plant everything at once, but the problem is everything's ready at once. When I'm just germinating the seed and I put the seed in the rock wool and put it in, if it's just seeded, I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on it. They'll germinate a lot better that way. Once they've germinated, you could practically watch them grow. Uh, again, don't plant everything at once. It's a little difficult to eat everything at once. So we've got growing, growing, starters. And just try to space your timing out a little. Don't be spaced out. But This is one of our favorite lettuces. It's Muir. It just is one of the best we've found. Um, get the lettuce mixes. These you can cut back and they just keep growing. These we just grow again because you really don't need to just cut these. In these uh, floats you can grow Swiss chard and spinach, the butter crunch, just about anything of the leafy greens and they just grow wild. We're going to be putting together a mini system. Be two, three, or four of these, five buckets, the aerator, the pump, everything all together for a nice mini system doesn't take up a lot of room, but you can grow a lot of food. Now, we do carry all this at completegreenhouse.com. Um, we're trying to get the best prices we can. Shipping these, not a good idea. So all the pieces, all the parts that are harder to find, we'll carry for you. But these, like I said, I think Sam's is one of the best deals. I think they're about seven or eight dollars is all. So there you go. <laughs> this fresh lettuce, I mean, you just want to bite it. Once again, at Greenhouse Solutions and Growing Systems, we keep it simple, keep it sustainable, keep it affordable, and most of all, keep it real. Till next time.